Hi, my name is Dennis Siri. I am executive director and founder of the New York City Independent Film Festival, Independent in Spirit, International at Heart. And this is the New York City Independent Film Festival Meet the Filmmakers podcast. Join us while we meet this year's filmmakers. Thank you. Bye bye. Hi, in this episode, we're going to talk to Emily Browner uh, from, from the film The Casting Couch of Greenwich Street. Hello, Emily. Thank you for joining us. Welcome. Hi, thank you so much for having me. All right, tell us, tell us, introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about you. Yeah, of course. So my name is Emily Bronner. I am the writer, executive producer, and lead actress in The Casting Couch on Greenwich Street. I live in New York City. Um, a little bit about my film is that it's based on my personal experience meeting Harvey Weinstein while waiting tables in 2015. So, yeah. <laughs> essentially what it's about okay great all right mm -hmm. so we'll, we'll start right in so what made you want to be a filmmaker yeah so I've been acting since I was about 11 years old and I went to a film and tv acting conservatory and I've been doing it ever since um I've always liked writing and I had the idea to one day write a script about my experience with Harvey, and then also one of my closest friends, Josh, is an actor and a filmmaker. So I've gotten to watch him write scripts and make films, and I really couldn't have done this without his guidance. So shout out to Josh. Okay, great. Hi, Josh. <laughs> I guess in some ways, already answered my next question is, how long have you been doing this? Yeah, so this is my first film that I've written and produced, but I've done like acted and other stuff before. Okay. And then when you said to your family, I'm going to make your family and friends, your, 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 your people, I'm uh -huh. going to make a movie. What was their reaction? Yeah, so I'm very blessed because my friends and family have been super supportive and I couldn't have made this film without any of their help. So, yeah, I'm very lucky. Okay, that's great. Yeah. Okay. And do you have, I guess you do have a group of filmmakers, your tribe. That, that 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 is yours as you hang out. Yeah, I do now. So my main support group has always been like fellow actors. Um, but I've met so many incredible filmmakers throughout the film festival circuit. And so I actually just recently created a filmmaker social club um, with filmmakers that I've known throughout my time living in New York and mostly from the filmmakers that I've recently met throughout the circuit so that is now my new filmmaker community very nice very nice okay and i guess you in a way i understand but what what made you decide to make this movie now right so part of it is that i wanted to turn lemons into lemonade and you know take this experience and make it into art but also, to be completely transparent, I wanted to cast myself in a film because, you know, sometimes you have to create your own work instead of waiting around for an opportunity, so. Okay. <laughs> totally acceptable. Okay. So these are, I'm going to combine. What was your hardest part and what was the most fun about making this movie? Okay, cool. So the hardest part I'm going to talk about um, as a producer, as a writer, and then as an actor. So... As a producer or executive producer, I guess, um, it was both the crowdfunding and then the not knowing what I was doing aspect was definitely difficult. Uh, as a writer, it was pushing through the monster that is procrastination. Um, took me forever to finally finish the script. And then as an actor, it was reliving a real life traumatic moment that I didn't know was traumatic until years later. And so pushing through those feelings and trying not to get too upset, you know, usually as an actor, it's like, use it, but I wasn't able to do that in this case. So it's more like suppress it, you know? Um, but yeah, those, so those were some of the hardest parts about it. But some of the most fun parts about making the film was just learning how to make a film, you know, being on the other side of the camera and seeing it all come to life from script to screen and then having friends on set helping out was really special as well. Cool, great. All right, um, now that you're done, do you look at this and say, 
it's complete or you look at it and say, oh, I should go back and tweak it some more. I'm honestly so happy with the final product. You know, I'm truly, I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of our our crew and everyone. Yeah, no, I'm I'm really happy with it. So great. Yay. Yeah, yay. <laughs> That's really great. Thanks. In the indie world, we all know that we're not going to be, make buy mansions and buy yachts on the money we're going to make for these movies. Right. So what right. what what do you consider success? Like what's success in the indie film world? Right. So I would say success is sharing your film with people who enjoy it and are moved by it in one way or another. Um, and it can be seen as getting into prestigious film festivals, of course, but if or when that doesn't happen, it's important to know that that doesn't mean that your film isn't successful. Okay, great. And I guess my last question actually is, we went through this very quickly, very easy to interview. Um, if somebody came to you and said, hi, Aunt Emily, I want to be a filmmaker. And your 12-year-old niece is sitting there looking at you going, I want to be a filmmaker. Mm -hmm. What would be your, your recommendations? What would you say? Oh, boy. Um, well, I would say that you want to make sure you have a solid support system because filmmaking is a team effort. Um, and of course, I would be part of that support system. <laughs> but um, I would say don't forget to budget for film festivals because uh, those do add up for sure. And then to um, enjoy the process, you know, it's the hardest thing that I've ever done, but is also the most rewarding. Okay, that's awesome. Do you have any other thoughts or anything you want to say? Yeah, for sure. Um, I just wanted to, I did want to take a moment to talk about um, and brag essentially about um, my fellow co-star Jasmine Loeb and how we got her to be a part of the film. So our casting director and producer, Brogan Jessamine, also a shout out to Brogan. Um, so she introduced me to Sarah Ann Massey, who's from Higher Survivors Hollywood. So they work to end career retaliation against survivors of sexual violence in the entertainment industry by encouraging those in positions of power to pledge to hire survivors and silence breakers. And so Sarah introduced us to Jasmine, who is specifically a Harvey Weinstein silence breaker. And she went on the news to discuss her experience. Um, it was really incredible to have someone else in the film that I could relate to about such a very specific situation. Um, and I know that she mentioned that doing this role was very therapeutic for her and I'm just really proud of her um, because I know that filming was super difficult and triggering, but she really killed it. And then um, I just wanted to say that I'm very thankful for my team, especially my director, Eliza Bruger, um, my producer again, Brogan Jessamine, the cast and the crew, my parents, that friend Josh that I couldn't have done this without that I mentioned, and then just everyone that supported us throughout this entire process. I really am so, so proud of this film. And if you're watching, I hope you come and see it. And okay, thank you so much you. for the interview. And I'm yeah. so excited about the festival. The film, The Casting Couch of Greenwich Street is gonna show June 7th at 8.10 at the New York City Independent Film Festival. See you there. Thank you.